Hello everyone, Shroom Rover here, and today I am back in the UU tier for some more fun and games. I'm in fact testing out my new uh, desk mic stand, uh, instead of the unwieldy boom stand I've been using. Uh, I'm still sorting out where to put the mic and all that kind of stuff, so, you know, let me know uh, if the sound quality is good enough or otherwise. But, you haven't come here for me to wax lyrical about my equipment, you'd come here for a Pokemon battle, or several. So, without further ado, I shall get into the team. And first up, we have Galvantula. Now, Galvantula, of course, uh, has got a lot more usage now. A lot of people going, oh, it's suddenly viable because it's got sticky web. Bullshit! Galvantula was always viable. You ask any self-respecting uh, RU player from Gen 5. Galvantula is a threat, base 97 special attack, base 108 speed, that's damn good in my book. So, we have the Choice Scarf Calvantula, because overkill where speed uh, is involved is always good fun. Thunder, Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, and Giga Drain are the moves of choice. Who needs Sticky Web? Now we have Mr. Mime. I'm excited to use this, I hope it works uh, for what it's meant to work for. Lumberry, and you'll notice Skill Swap. This is how I mean to take out those nasty prankster users like Lycard and all that stuff. If I come across them, I'm not sure I will. But if I do, I'm looking to uh, heal off anything, skill swap to get uh, prankster and stuff on them. Got Dazzling Gleam and Hidden Power Ground to go along with that as well. Snark is my Floatzel, who is member number three, and this is the Flame Orb Switcheroo set with Water Veil. Which is really nice, not, not too many people see it coming. Um, waterfall, Ice Punch and Power Up Punch uh, to increase that attack stat. Which is already pretty respectable, that's a jolly nature and it's over 300. Floatzel's nothing to sniff at. Then we have the only actually defensive member of this team. This is Rotom Heat. Uh, with the leftovers, um, Overheat and Volt Switch are its offensive moves and I'm really relying on Rotom to be my defensive pivot, uh, Will-O-Wisp and Light Screen uh, to cut attack and to raise my team's special defense. Then we have Regirock uh, with the Assault Vest. Um, adamant Nature, everything thrown into attack. Uh, we've got Earthquake, Stone Edge, Iron Head, because Florges is a thing, and Drain Punch. And finally we have Amber Pom. This is a Life Orb Technician set. Uh, double hit, power up punch again, knock off, and taunt. Um, because wasting a move slot on fake out for someone like Amberpom is just stupid. Um, I have knock offs on there, because if you have knock off, of course, you have to run it. I figure it's the lesser of two evils. I prefer to have knock off than waste a move slot on fake out. So, that is going to be the team. Let's see if it works, shall we? And yeah, the next time I see you, hopefully, I'll be in a game. So until then, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are in against Ninja Fuzzy One. Good luck, have fun. Uh, he has the Galvantula, Donphan, the Hazards, Scarf, Noiva, Mega Blastoise, Specially Defensive Celebi, Physically Defensive Arcanine. Those are my initial guesses. Um, I want to lead with Amberpom because, yeah, Galvantula is coming in. Um, now we see if Double Hit's worth its weight. Yes, it is! Excellent! That's why I have Double Hit. No, no sticky web for you. That's just not happening. That is why we run Double Hit on Amberpom. That is why we do it. Oh, I'm glad that happened. I'm glad it took it out because I'd look like a right idiot if it didn't. Uh, now what do you do, Ninja Fuzzy? He goes into the Arcanine. Yeah, thought he might. Um, well, close combat could be coming my way. Um, don't really know to go into. I'm going to go to Rotom. Rotom is defensive-ish. Flare Blitz, doing a clean quarter of my health. Uh, he doesn't have anything to soak up Volt Switch. He actually he does, he has the Don Pan, what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go for it, he goes for close combat again. Again? What do I mean again? He didn't go for it the first time. 
Sorry about that. But Volt Switch is going to do a fair chunk to the point where Floatzel's Waterfall should take it out. I'm very hopeful for it anyway. Um, he does have the leftovers, so he is invested. I'm hoping I'll scare him out. He might. No, he just goes for extreme speed. Yep, and Floatzel claims his first victim of the game. Now, Celebi, you might be an issue. I want to go into Rotom. You should be able to do a decent job of walling it. That's what I thought. Now I'm going to go for Willow. Predicting Dongfan. Because Dongfan is, would be the, the say Oh, he goes for Psychic straight up. Willow is, of course, not going to matter a jot to Celebi because of Natural Cure. Gonna go for a last ditch. No, he's just gonna take me out of the psychic. Fair enough. It does mean I can go straight into Galvantula and start firing off bug buzzers with impunity. He goes into Donphan. There. Ooh, takes it well enough. No leftovers. Interesting and scary. I don't like it. That is relatively scary, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll go into Regirock, who has the best defense of my bunch. He goes for the Stone Edge. I wonder what item he's got. Hmm. Now, what do I do here? Do I predict one of these two? Blastoise or Celebi? I think I have to. No, no, let's not overpredict. Let's just go for Stone Edge. And <laughs> why would I go? No, I miss. Ah, oh. Reggie Rock. Damn it, man, you're better than that. Um, uh, let's quake him. I might need this for the Noivern. Uh, but nothing really wants to take an earthquake from what is looking to be an offensive Don fan. Ugh. Okay, um... I guess Galvantula. Um, and Giga Drain would be my best bet. Wait, would it? Bug Buzz, 90 times 1.5 is 1.35. Giga set 150, yeah. I'm hoping this will work. Because he doesn't really have too much of a safe switch in. Yeah, he just has to let the Don fan go. And now, I imagine Neuvern will come in. That's what I thought would happen. Um, what does he go for? Air Slash, maybe? Flamethrower? Um, gonna go into Floats or Predicting Flamethrower. He just goes for Draco. Ooh, that's painful. Um, right, Mr. Mime and hope he's Choice Scarf. Uh, and if he is, then we can sub up. Oh, hang on. What if he isn't and has Infiltrator? Well, that's a sacrifice, a gamble rather, that I am willing to make. We'll see if Mr. Mime can actually do something. He needs to do something this session. I really hope he does. Um, he's done nothing so far. <laughs> We haven't run into anything with Prankster. Uh, so he's going to switch into Celebi. And we'll sub. Uh, what can I realistically do to a Celebi? They say never waste a good sub. But what if this thing wants to set up plots? We'll go for Dazzling Gleam. It does 28. He giggers to remove my sub. That's mildly infuriating. Um, but... I'm going to go into Galvantula. He goes for Giga. It does too much. But I think he's going to switch. So I am just going to Revolt Switch. It's the safest move because Blastoise will be hit hard. Neuven will be hit hard ish. And he, oh, he stays in. Okay. <laughs> Fine. 
will go into mine as pseudo fodder. The earth powers. And gets the special defense drop, of course. Um, well, none of his moves are below, so let's go for skill swap. No natural cure for you. <laughs> if you. It doesn't matter! <laughs> I've got nothing to do to him. Um, but let's go into the old uh, Amber Pom. No, that's silly. Let's go into Galvantula. He hasn't even gone to his Blastoise. Neuvern's done one thing, which was to decimate my my float sort. Um, I guess we can knock off and see what happens. He stays in, that's a mistake. And he has no leftovers. He goes for the Giga. Ooh. Big damage, but I can go for another knockoff. And not take him out. Of course, I don't even have an item. Oh, that was foolish of me. Okay, um, right, Galvantula, it's on you. Lock into thunder and hope is what we're going to do here. Can I even take out the Celebi? I hope so. Um, yeah, take out the Celebi. Neuvern will be the one to come in here, I imagine. He's got the best chance of taking one. Yeah, there's the Neuvern. Do I outspeed? No, I don't, but he misses the Draco. Oh, we get the power up! Oh, that was game changing. That turn was game changing. Potentially game changing. Um, we'll see if I can take out this Blastoise with a Thunder. And if I can, then I will have to apologise for what were game changing hacks. Okay, moment of truth. Can Galvantula do it? No, not quite. And there we go. GG. So, the hacks there didn't really matter. Still managed to take the win. But it made it a close game. So yeah. Good game, Ninja Fuzzy 1. And with that, we'll try and find another.